There are three major construction projects in progress at the Hamilton Canal Innovation District. A new parking garage, the Judicial Center building, and the addition of two streets and a bridge across the Pawtucket Canal. So the garage will be underway uh, by December and we anticipate uh, the contractor uh, getting on site, maybe doing some mobilization um, throughout the winter to begin uh, significant construction activities next spring. The cost for the design and construction of the garage is approximately $37.5 million and will be paid for by the City Parking Enterprise Fund. So it is an entirely city-owned and operated project um, and really a, 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 a great commitment to the district on behalf of the city. Following the spirit of the Innovation District, the garage design will incorporate smart development features such as a vegetated or green wall on the side facing Canal Place 3 and a green roof to both mitigate stormwater drainage and to provide a visible green space to the condo dwellers living above. Directly in front of the garage will be a dedicated pedestrian area. That area uh, will be in the front of the garage with two public green spaces also um, in front of the garage. We're calling, those are parcels 12 and 13. Both are dedicated green spaces on the HCID North. Two parks to be built. They will not be built as part of the garage, but they are in the plan and certainly the city seeks funding always, you know, to construct those. And then as the district gets built out, we will continue to connect the canalways through to um, create, you know, even an even better pedestrian circulation um, strategy here in the district. Work on the Justice Center is well underway and it is expected to be completed around this time next year. Seven district courts will spend the fall of 2019 moving in. They hope to be open for business on January 1st, 2020. We are trying to time the garage, the construction of the garage, to be open simultaneously with the, open of, with the opening of the courthouse. We think we're still going to make it, but we may be a couple months off. In between the Judicial Center and the garage, the city is putting in a new bridge over the Pawtucket Canal and creating two new streets, Street F and Street G. This part of the project is paid for with state and federal money. Street, we call Street F, will be running from Dutton Street through, across, uh, through the break in the remnant wall to connect with Canal Street on the other side. Future Street G is a cross street here, which will be the entrance to the garage and ultimately um, a throughway around to the other side of the uh, Canal District North, um, allowing for some emergency and other traffic uh, to get around the, these development sites, um, which currently are the National Park uh, parking lots. The coolest part of this project, the one that is going to be the most visible to the public, is the installation of the signature bridge, um, which will span the canal uh, through the break in the remnant wall, all by design. Um, the, the remnant wall, in fact, was built that way to accommodate this bridge. The bridge will arrive in three pieces, which will be bolted together before a crane drops it into place over the canal this month. It will open to vehicle and pedestrian traffic this winter, with lighting and landscaping installed by next spring. It's truly going to be a signature um, installation uh, here in the Canal District. Wind Development will construct an apartment building behind the remnant wall and a ground level plaza and restaurant. Once we build the signature bridge through the remnant wall to line up with Canal Street on that side, Wind will be doing their development on either side of that bridge street. Wind's development will be a mixture of market rate, workforce, and affordable housing. Construction will be intense this spring, with these projects taking place on both sides of the canal. We will have to be patient, but by 2020, downtown will be transformed. <laughs>